the First World War saw a huge increase in the use of artillery. Once the mobile war drew to a halt and forces dug in, the trench war began, and immediately artillery seemed to come to the fore in dealing with this tactic. Most generals believe that an immense projection of force focused on a single point could push the lines back. The combination of artillery, mortar, and the new forward observation capability of aircraft was to punch holes in the front lines, allowing the new tank and infantry to penetrate the breach. This required a lot of artillery. The Somme offensive by Allied forces along a 19-kilometer front from July to November 1916 is recorded as one of the bloodiest military operations ever undertaken and the largest battle of World War I. The attempt to break through German lines and draw forces away from the Battle of Verdun resulted in 1.5 million casualties, mainly from artillery and machine gun. The true horror of modern warfare had been revealed. The Battle of Vimy Ridge was a success for artillery. A Canadian Forces diversionary offensive against the German 6th Army along the Western Front, lasting four days, it utilized the creeping barrage and tactical innovation. The Canadians were able to rout the German forces. On the other hand, artillery usage could prove a failure. At the Battle of Passchendaele, also known as the Third Battle of Ypres, Commonwealth forces attacked German lines in an attempt to reach the coast and German U-boat bases. The majority of the battlefield was swampy, reclaimed marshland, and after artillery bombardment became an impassable sea of sticky mud which bogged down tanks and countless soldiers drowned. After three months of fighting, Passchendaele was taken and the battle ended on the 6th of November 1917. Allied forces lost 500,000 casualties, the Germans half that at 250,000. The ground captured from the offensive equated to two inches of ground for each soldier's life. <laughs>